It's that time of the week now, one of my favorite days of the week because it's Thursday. And again, we're here with the Imagination Station. They are back today and Sarah Neff joins us. Uh, and what are you going to be talking about today? Another good science experiment. It is. So you might want to start rolling up your sleeves a little bit. Okay. Okay. So You're not kidding around, are you? I'm not kidding around today. All right. No lab coat, but you might want to push up your sleeves. So um, luckily, it is starting to warm up for us a little bit, which means that we are full force heading into summer, which means summer camp is right around the corner. Okay? Right. Okay. So um, we actually have a registration open right now, and our first camp coming up is Super Splatter Science. Very nice. Yes. So I thought I would bring along one of the activities that kids can do when they come to visit us at camp. All right, so what do we start with here? We are going to make some oobleck today. Ah, All right. yes. So you might be familiar with oobleck because of the I Dr. Am. Seuss story. Yes. Maybe you've made oobleck before. I've made it too, oh, before fantastic. myself, too. So um, it's actually just cornstarch and water. So I'll let you put in the cornstarch. We want about two parts of cornstarch to one Ooh. part water. And it's okay to make a mess, right? That's the whole point of science super splatter science. How are we looking here? Pretty That's, good? Yeah, that looks perfect. Now, I'll add some water and go ahead and start mixing that up. All right, so what we're doing is we're actually creating something called a colloid. And what that is doing is all of those little cornstarch particles are actually kind of dispersing evenly mm -hmm. among the water. Looks like you might need a little more. All right, okay. and they're kind of floating around in there freely. So we're actually creating a liquid, right? I think so. You I'm, think trying, so? I'm trying to figure it out. It doesn't feel completely it liquid doesn't? yet. It doesn't? See if you can pick any of it up. All right, looks so, liquid. To yeah, me. it looks pretty smooth. So, what's amazing right. about Ooblack is that it's something we call a non Newtonian substance. I knew that, right? You did know that because it doesn't follow um, the regular rules. And what I mean by that is, like, if we had a bowl of water here and had you slap a bowl of water, what would happen? I'd get very messy. You would. You would be drenched. So I actually have a big batch of oobleck here, and I want you to go ahead and slap that plate of oobleck. I didn't bring you a lab coat today, so I'm going to stand way over okay. here. Ready? Yep. All right. So how's that? Not bad. Not too bad, right? I'm pretty clean still. You are. So we really didn't get much splashback, and that's because what happens to oobleck, as soon as you add pressure to it, it turns into a sheer thickening substance. So as soon as you add pressure, it turns into a solid. Interesting. Yeah, so go ahead and try and pick up some of this oobleck. So the harder you try and grab your hand in there, the more it thickens up and the harder it gets because all those little particles of cornstarch, when they're floating freely, they're kind of repelling each other. Okay. But as soon as you add pressure, they're overcome by the pressure and they kind of clump together. For so example, if I squeeze really hard, yeah. it turns into a ball. Open your hand and it turns almost back into a liquid. And like I said, oobleck is a sheer thickening substance. Very so cool. I actually brought you an example of a sheer thinning substance as well. And what would that be? That would be something like paint. All right. So if we have paint here, when you put your paintbrush in, you want most of your paint to stick on the brush, right? Because you don't want to drag this across your floor and make a huge mess. Sure. But as soon as you start to spread it out, what's happening is that sheer force is causing it to thin. So it starts thick and then it thins out as we paint it and apply pressure. And then this is going to be actually the same idea as a bottle of ketchup, right? So um, you may have heard the old myth that if you hit the 57, that's the magic spot and I it have makes heard the ketchup that. come out. It's actually just a myth. So all you have to do is apply pressure anywhere on the outside of the bottle, and it turns it into a sheer thinning substance, Very right? Very cool. Mostly now we just go to plastic squeeze bottles because it's way easier. And it's way easier right. than whacking the ketchup bottle. I've done that many times before. Right. Easier to do that way. Okay, so you said the summer camps. Give yeah. me more information on that. So summer camps are coming up in June. Um, registration is open right now. You can check that out at our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. One of our camps is already um, sold out for a full week. Wow. So make sure that you call in. Um, more than half the spots are gone. Okay. It's filling up quick. Well, we'll get some information on our website too. So get your spot right now before they all do fill up. Sarah, thank you so much. Much for Thank coming you. in and playing with a little oobleck this morning.